Hello and welcome to this fourth edition of the GNBS Highlights for 2024. If this is your first time joining us, welcome. The Ghana National Bureau of Standards is your national standards body and we are here to facilitate business growth and protect consumers. I am Bibi Katoon, Communications Officer at the GNBS. This 15-minute program brings to you brief information on standards and services offered by the GNBS as well as feature activities conducted in April. Let's start off with the much-anticipated Standards in Academia quiz competition. This competition got off to a great start on Tuesday, April 16th in Region 3 with the Lagrange Primary School emerging winner of the competition. The other participating schools were Windsor Forest, Bell West and Metamerzog Primary Schools. The Georgetown leg of the quiz competition continued at the Grahams Hall Primary on Tuesday, April 23rd. Let's take a look at the highlights from these competitions. The Standards in Academia competition is a collaboratively host is collaboratively hosted by the Ghana National Bureau of Standards and the Ministry of Education. The objective of this competition is to provide pupils at the primary level, as well as their teachers, with the opportunity to become educated on the concepts of standards, quality, and the principles of measurement. As a representative from the Ministry of Education, you will know that one of the core values of our ministry is collaboration. And today we are seeing collaboration and participation from this institution. And what we are doing here, we are making education meaningful for our pupils. This opportunity here provides you to have personal growth as well as development, which will foster life skills development as you progress throughout the world. I feel good to be the best performer. My name is Gabriel Delroy Griffiths and I'm supporting Lagrange Primary School. How was you competing in this competition? It was fun and good. How does it feel to be emerging the winning school of the children? It feels very good and special to me to support the winning school of this competition. What was it like preparing to be part of this competition? What was the preparation like? Hectic. It was hectic? Why was it hectic? Yeah, um, like... I, you gotta you know, study the book all the time, most of the time. I had to read the book first, I had to do the screen right on the school work, and then I didn't have a lot of time to play because I had to have time for my family too. Each school was given a booklet to study ahead of the quiz. Topics include the metric units of measurement, role of GNBS, and the benefits of standards among others. The participating pupils answer multiple choice, true and false, short answer, spelling and essay type questions during the quiz. The competition is being recorded and will be aired on the Guided Learning Channel after the finals. More after this short break. My name is Kim Witty Chantradat and I'm the laboratory manager here at Caribbean Surgery Inc. Laboratory. I have been the laboratory manager here at CSI since the establishment of the laboratory since November 2020. The most satisfying aspect of being a medical laboratory scientist is knowing that you're helping your patients by providing them quality results. Standards and quality are extremely crucial in the daily responsibilities as a medical laboratory. They are essential for us to achieve our main purpose, which is to provide accurate and reliable results to our customers. But not only are standards and quality important for customer safety and satisfaction, it is integral to the laboratory's existence itself, allowing us to meet regulatory requirements and build the laboratory's reputation also ensuring cost-effective work and allowing for continual improvement of the laboratory. Having the GYS-170 certification is significant to us in that it demonstrates our commitment to quality. You cannot think laboratory without taking quality, and you cannot think quality here in Guyana without thinking GNBS. This GYS-170 certification lets our stakeholders know that they can trust our service. It is also significant to us on a personal level in that it was the achievement of a goal. When our laboratory was established, one of its goals was for us to be achieved to the GYS-170 standard. Thank you for staying tuned to this program. During the week of April 15 to the 19th, the GNBS hosted a regional sensitization session on quality management systems in collaboration with the CARICOM Regional Organization for Standards and Quality. 
Cross Q. The workshop was facilitated by Ms. Cheryl Anderson, an expert from the Quality System Solutions and Initiatives in Jamaica. The primary aim of this workshop was to equip private sector companies with an understanding of internationally recognized certification standards, procedures, and protocols for them to effectively implement their respective quality management systems. Let's look at the video from this workshop. The GMBS is proud to have played a role in aiding each of you, whether it's through Made in Ghana certification or ISO certification, in building your management systems, whether we would have provided training to you, assisted you with documentation, or even given implementation support. As such, you are handpicked and selected to benefit from this session that is going to further guide you when it comes to implementing. Some of the key benefits of this program, and I'm going to wrap up shortly, is one, having consumer protection, where products and services meet standards. We have improved health and safety regime, where we have facilitating standards, regulations, and good testing procedures, where the project also facilitated good market access and trade facilitation, where products are now able to meet international standards. Quality is not goodness or niceness, but it's really about breaking apart what the parameters are as it relates to the quality of your product or your service, and then making sure that your customers um, can rate you on these different parameters or determinants of quality. Meanwhile, two staff from the St. Kitts Bureau of Standards spent two weeks in the metrology departments of the GNBS on an exchange program to learn about the measurement services offered in Guyana. I had a chance to speak with one of the visiting team members, Mr. Iron Audin, and also Ms. Latoya Bornem from CrossQ Secretariat in Barbados on their experience at the GNBS and the objectives of the exchange. So we're here to, to as a part of a technical exchange, we're here to learn from the experience and the knowledge from, that the Guyana National Bureau of Standards hold so that we can also improve upon the services that we offer back in St. Kitts and Nevis. What are some of the areas that you were able to work with, some of the measuring instruments as well that you were able to learn about? So we were able to, to look at um, the calibration side of metrology as well as the verification or the legal side of metrology. We looked at, um, from the calibration aspect, we looked at the mass, the non-automatic weighing instruments, temperature, and we also look, had looked at pressure and concrete testing. In terms, of when, in terms of the training that we received in the legal metrology side, we looked at also the volume, volumetric legal metrology, which include things like fuel pumps, um, tanker wagons, and um, fuel dispensers. And how do you think this will help you when you go back? Okay, so when we go back to St. Kitts, our goal is to look at where the gaps are, where we can improve upon our services that we offer to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. We also look to see, in terms of our quality management system, how we can improve from what we have seen here at the um, GNBS. All right, with me I have Ms. Latoya Burnham from the CARICOM Regional Organization for Standards and Quality. How has it been here so far? It's been really great. We've had an intervention with local businesses this week and that has been a really rewarding uh, experience for us. In relation to the St. Kitts program here this week, we are looking at as I said, strengthening of the regional quality infrastructure. In order to do that, we're looking at how we can collaborate as a region. So once we recognize that there is a need in a member state and that another member state can fill that need, we try to see how we can twin those two uh, national standards bodies together. CrossQ is a regional intergovernmental organization established in February 2002 to facilitate the development of regional standards, promote harmonization of metrology systems, and support sustainable production and trade of goods and services in the CARICOM. The GNBS is grateful for the assistance provided by this organization to further develop metrology and standardization in Guyana. More after this break. What's up 592? It's your boy Chandra Paul Hemarch. Like the love for our cricket, do you know what else brings us together? Our love for authentic Guyanese products. When you're shopping and you see this logo, you can be confident you're buying authentic GNBS approved Guyanese products. So join your winning team by buying Guyana's best.
Thank you for staying tuned to this program. If you have just joined us, you are watching the GNBS Highlights, a program which updates you on the activities of the GNBS during the past month. Now, let's switch our attention to the GNBS Certification Services. The Bureau in April certified two new companies under the Made in Ghana Certification Mark program. Those are Marcia's Products and Malia's Kitchen. Here's a snippet of those certification ceremonies. Thank you to GNBS, they have been working with me and they were very patient with me and helping me along the way in things I didn't know how to do. Anyway, thank you so much to GNBS, thank you to all my customers, thank you to my friend Sandra who is here today supporting me and I'm very grateful for all you've done for me and, and I know that my product will go a long way with your help and thank you so much for all you've done. Okay, the GNBS has been a great help for me throughout the entire process. From the made of Vienna stamp and to get all the paperwork to where the requirement is, that needs to be basically. Um, I would like to thank you guys for all the help and all the effort you guys put into making sure we have everything that is needed. And if there's anything that you don't understand, you're always here to encourage you through the process and guide you. Alright, so on behalf of the Ghana National Bureau Standards, I want to congratulate Malia's Kitchen on becoming made in Ghana certified. Today, this is a big um, achievement for you guys, and just remember that the made in Ghana mark is a branding whereby um, it gives recognition to the origin of the product and the quality of the product that is manufactured in Guyana. The made in Ghana Standards mark is a registered mark that aims to recognize locally manufactured products on the local and international markets. It is a signature of quality for authentic Guyanese products. Consumers are encouraged to buy Made in Ghana certified products. Meanwhile, local manufacturers are encouraged to become Made in Ghana certified. Application forms can be found on the GNBS website www.gnbsgy.org. In addition, the GNBS recertified Aquafina Water and Ice Inc., Arsokra Jewelry, GPAT Laboratory, Fibertech, and others under the respective certification programs. As we approach the end of this program, we are also approaching the end of Occupational Safety and Health Month 2024. OSH Month is being observed under the theme, We are running out of time, ensuring safe and healthy work in a changing climate. In this regard, the GNBS facilitated an awareness session for employees in its quality hall by the IRP Fire and Safety Ghana Inc. on the selection and use of personal protective equipment and fire safety. Further, the GNBS collaborated with the Ministry of Labour to conduct an awareness session on the importance of safety in the workplace. The Bureau staff will also join in the annual OSH Walk in Georgetown this weekend, organized by the Ministry of Labour. By engaging in these activities during OSH Month, which are aimed to promote safety in the workplace, the GNBS is able to step closer towards achieving its goals as an OSH-conscious organization. Finally, the GNBS Business Development Department completed several trainings in April. These include an internal training on the 901 standard for management systems for micro, small and medium-sized enterprises. In addition, a business development officer joined the Small Business Bureau, the Government Analyst Food and Drug Department, and the Guyana Marketing Corporation to conduct a labeling design training for small businesses at the Belvedere Business Incubator Center in Quarantine Burbies. The training aimed to equip participants with knowledge and skills needed to create labels that are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also compliant with standards. Such initiatives not only benefited individual businesses, but also contribute to the overall growth and competitiveness of Guyana's agro-processing sector on a global scale. And this brings us to the end of this month's edition of this program. Ensure you follow us on Facebook as we keep you updated on the various services offered by the GNBS, including training, verification, calibration, testing, standards, and more. For more information, visit our website at www.gnpsgy.org. You can also call us on 219-0064-66 or WhatsApp us at 692-4627. Goodbye for now.